In this video I'm going to talk about the transcript module that's part of the pro module set for the Uncanny Learn Dash Toolkit. I'm going to start off by looking at the end result. So using the transcript shortcode, what you would expect to see as a learner. So right now I'm signed in as an admin that has completed a couple of sample courses. And this is a, uh, a demo site with a lot of demo content that in a lot of cases is invalid but uh, at least serves as an example of what users would see when they go through courses. So by dropping the shortcode in, we're able to create a page that shows data about courses they're enrolled in. So you can see in the header, it's got the user's name, uh, when this transcript was published, we can add branding to it, and then it's got some more information about the courses they're enrolled in. So the total number of enrolled courses, how many of those they've completed, and then the average quiz score up here across all courses. So this is looking at all quizzes that they've completed as part of all enrolled courses. And then beneath that, we've got a table with all of the results. And you can see in this example, there are a lot of uh, duplicate records. And that's simply so that we're able to show a lot of data and you can see how it works across different pages. So what we've done here, we've got columns for the course itself. So you have the, uh, the record of the course name, the percentage complete that the user has completed in that course. So how far along, what their progress is in that course. If they've completed it, it would have the completion date here. Um, it would show the number of lessons completed. So how many lessons out of how many total lessons for that course. And then the average quiz score again as percentages for those. So it's got all that data in a table, and this is a JavaScript table. Um, everything is loaded across all pages when the page is first loaded. So it's really easy to sort things. So if we wanted to sort by completion date, for example, I could click that. My browser is uh, was a little stuck there. Okay, there we go. So you can see, again, there's some invalid data just because these are a lot of demo courses where the data is not necessarily correct. But you can see this is how we sort. We can sort alphabetically, sort by percentage complete there, which again, you can see there's some data that's not quite correct, but uh, that is what you would see essentially. So that's how the data works. And then we have page navigation down there, which is instant because it's all a JavaScript table. And then we can manage how many entries we want to show um, per page. And then the other key thing up here is that it is printable. So if we click on the print button, it's just going to take a second to load that. So it renders a printable transcript. So you can see here, I'm printing from Chrome right now. Um, it shows whatever information is on the page. So you can see I did have five pages of content, but right now it's only showing the, the first page. Um, for most users, they're probably not going to be enrolled in dozens of courses. Um, but it can certainly support that. And again, you would you would modify that by changing the number of entries or rows that you show with that drop down. So this is showing the 10 entries that were on the screen and uh, it's showing all the data that was in the table. And then up here, of course, it's got who it's for, when it was published, the logo again, and then just information about the enrollment. So that's essentially what we're producing with that short code. Now, in order to set that up, all that's required is just to drop the shortcode into a page. And we definitely recommend that this should be on a full width page. And this is probably the only content you want on that page. So as an example, if I go to the edit view of that page, and uh, this again is just set up on a sample site, you can see it's using the Divi theme. Um, we're using a full width page layout and all we're dropping in is the UO underscore transcript shortcode. And that's really all that goes into this page. So this page, of course, is a, a page that we want to make accessible to learners. Um, we'd probably put it in a menu or you can link to it however, however you want to get there. Um, so the printable view, again, it's it's only showing the transcript content. So it's it's not showing the header or footer. It's not showing um, the, the title of the page here. Um, it's just you know, putting the transcript data itself in the printable view. Um, and of course, from that printable view, you can uh, generate a PDF file. That depends again on the operating system you're using and uh, the browser you're using. But in most cases, like um, 
because I'm on a Mac in this example, I could easily use the, um, the print controls to generate a PDF file from this. Um, PDF generation on the server side is not supported just because of the extra load that it causes. Um, and then there are some complications with the data. So it's, it's better if we do this client side for PDF generation using the user's browser. So on the back end, there are definitely some settings that you'll want to configure when you first set this up. Um, there are a number of colors here that you can set as well as the logo. Um, you can definitely use the same logo as the site itself. Uh, but you will need to specify the full URL. Um, just because of variations in themes and other things, it's important that um, you set that URL manually. So if we go over to the settings for the toolkit, and of course all the pro modules do show up under the the, uh, the toolkit settings along with all of the, uh, the free plugin modules. So we go in here and for the learner transcript module, we can click on the settings icon. So we do have the five settings in here. There's the logo URL at the top. This is loading from a CDN. Um, and then you would have to put in the uh, color values for any other, um, any colors you want to set up that um, may be distinct for your implementation of the transcript. So those can all be set up here. And then once you're done, and I hadn't reloaded the page, but uh, there would be a save button there. So if I reload that, just so you can see how it saves. Then I would go in here, make any changes I needed, and then click on Save Settings, and then everything would be updated. That's essentially how the transcript shortcode works. More information is available in the knowledge base on the Uncanny Owl website, if you have any further questions.